Over the years, we have had a lot of fun with the Bearded Men Society of Ocean City. Remember this, Corey? <laughs> yes, I do. That's when two members let us decorate their beards. And of course, we held nothing back. Well, the guys are back and getting ready for facial hair in Ocean Air at the annual Beards at the Beach. Rob Dunn is the president of the Bearded Men Society of Ocean City. And Jackie Thomas is competing in the Whiskerina category. Look at this beautifully made beard. I think you win. All, automatically. <laughs> yeah. uh, but uh, we're not letting you, we're not decorating this year. You're good. So, yeah. Yeah. A little bit of relief for that A little one. bit of relief. Okay. I had fun, but it was... It was fun. It was fun. Okay, well, we do have some friends you brought with you in the audience. And Corey, you're going to like go out and talk to them. Yes, indeed. We're going to get some names, gentlemen, and uh, which category you'll be competing in. Let's start off with you, sir. Hi, my name's Tanner. I'm competing in natural beard. I'm natural mustache, right? Of course. And the handlebars, are they going to make its way to the competition? Oh, yeah, I'm trying to bring them back. I like it. All right, you, sir? Mark Dembo, 6 to 12 inches. How long is the beard as it sits? 14, but two's coming off. Two of it's coming off. All right. Uh, John Conley, I'm going to compete in the 6 to 12 category. And it's the natural category, right? Yeah. Look at that thing. It's so burly and beautiful. You, sir? Tim Henn. I'm not competing. You already know how awesome you are. You don't have to worry about it, right? No, you're good. <laughs> All right. Uh, Shelby Vick, uh, mustache. All right. Now, how long has this been a trend of yours? Uh, a few years, actually. It gets shorter, gets longer. Okay, but so it's never going away. Nah, I like the mustache. All right, mustache. very good. Wow. <laughs> I'd hate to be the, the judge in that contest. Uh, and we're going to talk about the contest in just a few moments. But first, tell us the Bearded Men Society. What do you guys do? Uh, mainly we are, like our logo here says, we're Beards Beers of Volunteers. Uh, we like to help the community out by raising money in different ways. Uh, one of them is like our beard competition that we're having. Uh, let's go, that competition is going to support diaconia and making strides for breast cancer. Other things we do is we clean the beach. Uh, once a month, we have uh, the Ocean City Surf Club has an Adopt the Beach program, and we're part of that club. Uh, we go out and we clean 53rd through 56. Now, for the folks who missed last year's Beards at the Beach event, it, remind us, what is it? Uh, it's a competition. We have eight categories. Uh, it's all for charity. We raised over $5,000 last year for charity, and uh, Corey kind of brought this up a minute ago. I'll say it here, if we raise more than $10,000, I will shave my beard for this contest. Wow. It's your, that's like your baby, though. It's seven years. <laughs> <laughs> but it's all for charity, so and I'm it's, okay. It's not just men, obviously. No. Jackie, you're in the, what is it, the Whiskerinas? The Whiskerinas. It's ladies' craft beards. So. Is she speaking? I can't see her mouth moving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you made this? I did. I uh, bought the base, and I added all of the metal in it and it's kind of a work in progress. I make jewelry, I take all of my scraps and kind of weave it in. Oh. Now this is a very Viking-esque beard. Who's the motivation behind the, this model? My husband. All right. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Why is uh, getting involved with the community so important to your group? We, we're from Ocean City. We live in the Ocean City area. Uh, a lot of the clubs and different organizations around the community help out, but they don't keep it local. Mm -hmm. Um, I, wanted, I started this group to help the community and help keep our local community and the local charities money in our area. Uh, and it's, it's been a, a big thing for me to keep going for years and years to come. Sure, sure. Now, one of the cool things is last year I was, uh, I was a judge, but then Rob came to me and asked if I could be the MC this year. So not only do I get to see all the beautiful beards in action, but I get to actually talk, which is another thing that I really like to do. So thank you for that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. Well, great, and I'm glad to have you guys there. Uh, we also have uh, some other nice people in the community that's helping us out are uh, the Worcester County Sheriff, Matt Crisofoli. He's gonna be one of our judges. He's taking over for Corey's place. Nice. <laughs> and we also have uh, the new director, for Diaconia, B. Miller, and the head of Making Strides, uh, Chris Butler, is going to be our judges. And for those who may not be aware, Diaconia is what? They are a local veterans center, uh, food bank, and uh, transitional housing. Uh, they have 40-some people that live with them right now, and they're trying to go more. And they're always looking for donations of food, paper, plastic, everything to help them out throughout the community to help out the people that stay there. All right, and you can help out by attending this contest. Let's go over the details of when and where. It's Beards at the Beach, Facial Hair and Ocean Air, and it's at the Grand Hotel on Baltimore Avenue in Ocean City, September 14th. And, uh, registration starts at noon. Uh, competition starts at one o'clock. And for all of you that are coming, uh, women's and kids are first. We do have a kids category, uh, which turns out really nice too. 
So it gets the whole family involved. It's not just the guys coming out doing stuff. It's the whole family getting them involved and helping out the community. Fantastic. Well, thank you both. And I hope you get to shave your beard. I hope to, too. Yeah, $10,000. <laughs>